Hi students, today we are going to discuss about the web mining. So web mining is determining the size of www that is extremely large. So you know that the world wide web is extremely large and to uh, determine the size of the world wide web is very difficult and to get a content from the world wide web to get a selected content or get a content from the world wide web is extremely very difficult. So determining the size of world wide web is extremely difficult and web can be viewed as the largest database available and presents a challenging task for effectively design and access. Okay, uh, And one more problem is there, there is no structure or schema for a web. So let us see what is web mining then. Web mining is mining data related to www that is the data related to the web or the data related to the web activity. It will automatically discover and extract the information from World Wide Web. Uh, now let us check how the web data can be classified into or the types of data on the web. So data on the web can be the content of the actual web page. It can be the intra page structure including HTML or XML code for the page. Then it's inter page structure which is the actual link structure between the pages. It can be the usage data that describes how web page are accessed by the visitors. It is a user profile including demographic and registration information obtained about the user. This could also include information found in cookies. Next we are going to discuss about web mining classes. So the web mining classes are web content mining, web structure mining, web usage mining. So what is web content mining? Web content mining examines the content of the web page as well as the result of web searching. It can include the text, it can include the video, the audio and graphics data also. Now this web content mining is divided into two that is web page content mining and search result mining. So what is web page content mining? It is the traditional way of searching of the web page with the help of a content. Okay, via a content. Search result mining is a further search of the page found from the previous search. Next is web structure mining. The information is obtained from the actual organization of the web page and it provides a tree like structure of the home page, hyperlinks and tags, etc. It provides navigation also. Okay, now what is web usage mining? Web usage mining basically looks at the log of the web access. It can be server logs or it can be web logs. It looks at the history of the web page visited. Okay, so the basically it will look at the history of the his, uh, web page which is being visited. It looks like mining of the sequential pattern. So for example, the pattern can be clustered based on their similarity and this can be used to cluster user into the group based on the similar access behavior. Okay. So it can be divided into two types, general access pattern tracking and uh, customized usage tracking. Next we are going to study the detail about all the classes. The first one is web content mining. Uh, web content mining it extends the work of search engine it is basically the search engine is keyword based so here the search engine has crawlers to search the web and gather the information and query processing support to provide information to the user okay here the web content mining will improve on the traditional crawler technique of this uh, search engine by using a technique as a concept hierarchy and synonyms, it uses user profiles and analyzing the links between the pages. The search engine also uses data mining technique which provides efficiency, effectiveness and scalability. Okay, So web content mining is related to web mining because some of its web content are its text. So web, web data is a semi-structured data that will be in the form of HTML tags. And it can be that unstructured also using the free text. And data mining is actually structured one. The structured means that there will be the extended version of HTML which can be XML. Okay. So it provides the easier mining in structured one. So the text mining is basically unstructured mining. So this uh, 
web content mining is divided into two types one is agent based approach which has as the software system agent that performs the content mining and next is database approach which view the web data as a belonging to a database there are some technique which is used along with the web content mining that is uh, the classification technique the clustering technique and the association for a uh, detailed study of classification clustering and association you can refer my videos in the playlist now we are going to study what is crawlers a robot or a spider or a crawler is a program that traverses the hypertext structure in the web the page or set of page that crawler starts with is referred as the seed url so crawler starts with a url that is called as seed url by starting at one page all the links from it are recorded and saved in a queue okay these new pages are in turn searched and their links are again saved as as this robot searches the web they may collect information about each pages such as extract the keyword and store in the indices for the user of associated search engine so the robot spider traverses the hyper hypertext structure in the web it collects the information of the visited site pages and is used to construct the indices for a search engine okay now the basic types of crawlers one is context focus crawlers then focused one then incremental then periodic one so what is this periodic one it may visit a certain number of pages and then it will stop and build a index and replace the existing index and it is activated periodically so here what happens is that it always replaces the existing index next is incremental one it selectively searches the web and only updates the index incrementally so here there is no replacement happening just it will be incrementing uh, and updating the index the increment crawler facilitate the creation of indices used by the search engine they keep up to date little human intervention so next one is a focus one before i explain about the focus one i should explain the regular crawlers so here you can see the shaded portion these all are the visited pages so in the regular crawler it visit the entire web and replaces the index in the focus crawler it visited the page related to a particular subject so focus crawler you can see the shaded portion is not everywhere where it is necessary where it's to be focus it will be visiting that pages only so focus a focus crawler visit the page related to a particular topic of interest it determines the page that are not relevant or its link should not be followed then the entire set of possible page underneath it are pruned and not visited so it provides better scalability as a web grows next it is a architecture of focus crawler the focus crawler consists of three primary components one is hyperlink classifier next one is distiller third one is crawlers itself so the first one is hyperlink classifier it associate a relevant score for each document with respect to crawl topic the classifier determines a resource rating that estimate how beneficial it would be for a crawler to follow the link out of that page next is distiller it determines which pages contains a link to many relevant pages and these are called as hub pages hub pages will provide the link to the relevant pages the crawlers it performs the actual crawling the page it visits are determined via a priority based structure governed by the priority associated with the page by the classifier and distillers okay so these three are the basic components of the focused crawlers so next one is context focused crawlers it uses a context graph and the classifier together okay so let us check what is a context graph see this is a context graph so context graph is a rooted graph the root is a seed document see this 
ओके एंड द नोड एट ईच लेवल सो वी हैव अ नोड एट ईच लेवल नो सो लेवल वन लेवल टू लेवल थ्री वी हैव अ नोड द नोड एट ईच लेवल रिप्रेजेंट्स अ पेज दैट हैज अ लिंक टू द नोड एट द नेक्स्ट हायर लेवल द नंबर ऑफ लेवल्स आर डिक्टेटेड बाय द यूजर इटसेल्फ नाउ हाउ द क्लासिफिकेशन इज डन हियर द क्लासिफिकेशन परफॉर्म्ड हियर इज कॉल्ड एज frequency inverse document frequency technique in short form it is written as tf idf technique okay how and how it is performed is that the vocabulary used is formed from the document in the seed set and each document is represented by tf idf vector representation and assigned to particular level in the merge context graph next we are going to discuss harvest system Harvest system uses caching, indexing, and crawling. It acts as a tool in gathering information from other sources. So the it has two component. One is gatherer, and another one is broker. Uh, gatherer obtain information for indexing from a internet service, and broker provides the index and query interfaces. The indices in the harvest are topic specific, as the brokers are. okay this is used to avoid scalability pro problem which is found without this approach harvest gathers uses the sn system to assist in collecting the data it is the valid technique for retrieving the web document the sn classifier document by creating a semantic index and the semantic index will generate different types of information for different types of file and then create indices on the information and this essence uses a file extension to help to classify the file type so that was about the uh, harvest system so next one is virtual web view we know that handling unstructured data is very difficult so we will view the web as a multi layer database in short form it is written as mldb mldb provides an abstracted and condensed view of the portion of the web and it is also called as virtual web view here no spiders are used here a website can send their indices to other website also a web mining query language is used here which is called as web ml and it's used to provide the data mining operation the keywords which is which can be used in this type of languages covers covered by like and close to for example i'm going to explain uh, the query for uh, finding all documents at the level of www.engr.smu.edu that have a keyword that covers the keyword called as cat so how to write this query that is select star from the document in www.engrsmu.edu where one of the keyword covers cat okay this is how you write the query and one problem with virtual web view is it is very difficult to implement